Hello again YouTube, it's Julie with Artie Party Paints. Sorry for my long absence. Uh, this new video I'm bringing you today is a mermaid tutorial. It's how to do a great mermaid design on your arm. It's not the fastest thing in the world because it uses a few different brushes and colors, but it's actually super cute and you can totally do it. So let's get to it. All right, so for our mermaid design today, you're going to need your Wolf Diamond FX black and white as usual. Uh, this is actually a really good tip for you guys too. Usually when my whites run out, they have this little edge that builds up along the outside. So the middle part is all empty because I used it all and the outside edge is kind of still built up. So what I do is I take it and I scrape that, that edge and put it into a spare pot. That way you have all this extra white that you can use to mix for your colors that you don't use all that often like peach and light brown and mint green and all of those colors. So that's a really nice tip for you guys. I would recommend doing that to save some extra money. You're also going to need yellow, purple, and a hair color, which I chose as red today. And you can use a rainbow cake for your tail, or you can do solid green. I really like using the blend because it gives it that extra special touch. So those are your options there today. So first we're gonna start off with the basic body. And so we're gonna use our orange. Load that up on your Filbert brush, which is one of those round. This is a Royal and Langnickel brand, number 10. You're gonna mix it in with that white so you get that nice peach color or whatever color you wanna use for the skin tone. And you're gonna start by making the head. So it's kind of the same shape as the panda head if you watched my other video. It's kind of a long, wide oval for that cuteness factor. There's that. And we're gonna do a neck, which is just use the side of your filbert there to make a little neck. And for the body, it's actually pretty simple if you think about it as two triangles. So one triangle is your upper body. And then the second triangle kind of meets it. So the pointy ends are together. So it's, a, it's an hourglass shape. And then for your arms, to make it really easy on yourself, just take the edge of your filbert from that corner right there, the shoulder, and flick it down. Don't even worry about hands. Those are gonna take you too long and they're not really worth it. So I like to just do those kind of arms. So that's your basic body. That's what you need your skin tone for. And we're gonna take next, we're gonna do our tail. So you're gonna need, this is about a, it's a little less than half an inch, maybe half an inch for your colored brush here. You're gonna load that up with your green. So one side is dark and one side is light. And now you're gonna start with your little connector bits. So I'm not sure Ariel kind of has those little flowery <laughs> fan bits that kind of connect her tail to her body. So I like to do those first, which by just pulling in with that black on the outside edge. Then to do the rest of the tail, you take the black on the outside edge still and pull it down. Flip your brush over, black on the outside edge, and pull it down again. So there you have your basic part of the tail. To do the bottom, you pull up, so you're you pulling with the light side. Pull your light side right into the middle, and then back down again. So it goes up, and then down. And if you give it a little bit of a curve as you do that, a little bit of an S-curve, you get that nice fishtail shape. This is a good time to add glitter. I use Mama Clown's White Fairy Dust. Just add that right there. It gives the tail a little bit of sparkle. Next, I'm using another Filbert. Same brand. I'm gonna load it up with my hair color, which I chose for red to give it kind of an Ariel look, like a cutesy version of Ariel. So you load that up. And I like to start with the bang part, so it kind of pulls down across the head right here for the hair. Keep it nice and loose. And then with the hair, the most important thing that I've learned is that it's a lot harder to try and fill in all of these spaces than it is to just pull the hair off to the side, kind of like it's pulled behind her a little bit in the water. So just follow along your head shape that you have here on that side. Pull the hair right over those shoulders and give it a little bit of a wiggle here at the end to make it look kind of like it's flowing in the water. All right, 
think you can make that however else you want. If you want to take the extra time to try and fit it around so that it kind of comes down like this, you can, but I really recommend doing that because it's going to be a lot faster and easier than filling in all those odd shaped spaces. All right, and next you're going to do her little swimsuit top, her seashells. I like to use purple again for an aerial look. So you take your pointer brush, fill it up with purple, and pull down about four times. One, two, three, four, and then one across the bottom. One, two, three, four, and one across the bottom. That creates her little seashell top, which is super cute. All right, and next we're gonna do, we'll do the outline next. Uh, if you're gonna do eyes that are like big and have whites in them, you wanna do the white now so that way it has time to dry a little bit. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do tiny little like Hello Kitty style eyes on this one. All right, so you can begin outlining now. Just kind of flick the bangs around here. Give the rest a bit more solid outline. Time to practice your thick to thin lines. Those make everything look a lot nicer if you can get that nice blend that goes from thick to thin. Alright, keep following along her hair there. You can keep that kind of loose. Do the rest of her body outline. Just follow those shapes you have there. Just kind of outline it. Again with the hands, just, just create little points is what I do. If you have time, you can you can work on making those hands, but they're really quite difficult, so I like to kind of skip them. <laughs> All right, follow along there. Your tail already has some black on it, but I like to give it a little secondary outline here. Give it a few little dots for scales. Don't really have to outline those if you don't want to. All right, now we're gonna do the eyes. So like I mentioned, we're gonna do some cute Hello Kitty style eyes here. So that means they're gonna stay just like the panda, they're gonna stay low and far apart on this oval face. So we're gonna do them about here. Just kind of pull your brush down a little bit, like that, flick the corners to give her some eyelashes. All right, and now the really cute part, we're gonna do a little mouth. So you're gonna take a small pointer brush and dip it in red. And this is a really fast, cute, kind of a doll mouth. You just pull down and make a heart. So you pull down once and pull down twice to make a little heart-shaped mouth. And that's so cute. And the final touch, you're gonna add your white highlights to really bring everything together. So you're gonna maybe highlight on the seashells, maybe one along there, give it some dots. Give her some hair highlights, because that always looks really nice. And my favorite little touch to add is the two dots in the eyes. So once your black is dry, you have to make sure that those are pretty dry. You're gonna take your white brush and just very, very carefully one, two little dots. One, two little dots. That creates that really cute little eye sparkle that looks so nice. So there you have it, your cute mermaid. You can also add some sparkles along here. Little bubbles or flowers, whatever else you wanna to add to dress it up. But that's your basic mermaid arm design there. It's pretty fast and cool. Thanks everyone for watching this mermaid tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to see more. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.